Okay, this control button, this is for the garage overhead door opener, and um, part two, we had a false start, a false start. We're really kind of starting over again without the inspector theater, but this control button is closer than five feet to the threshold, <coughs> so little hands can get to it. You should have a warning notice right here, and then these are the control wires, and the control wires, these are metal staples. We have this condition in the kitchen cupboard countertop luminaries so um, the metal staple can chew the insulation and short it out cause it to malfunction coming on across our garage ceiling is not GFCI protected nor is the wet bar <coughs> jumping around nor is any receptacle in the garage and the door opener should be GFCI protected and we have the door. We got it disconnected. We can see right now that the spring is working. Okay. And the gasket is nice and complete. So we'll come over here. See if we can get our opener to re engage. Oh, we probably can't. There we go. All right. There we go. It's open. It's all there. Now we look over here. These are our spring tension notices. So let's have a spring tension notice on each corner of the door. <coughs> then. In addition, we're supposed to have a pull handle inside of the door. And we don't. So we're coming on down. Our optic sensors are close enough. That's a good thing. They don't work. Our optic sensors are inoperable. Interesting. <laughs> 